Okay, so in, I don't know, like, Oh, 15 minutes, we, sh we should leave soon, mommy. I am going to Hawaii for three weeks with school and we are taking a class called Hawaii Nation or State and we talk about the annexation of Hawaii, the Hawaiian lands, Hawaiian culture, and we learn all about it. And we're going to four different islands. We are going to Kauai, Oahu, Hilo, and Kona, or is it Kona and then Hilo? I'm not sure, but if you follow along in the vlogs, you will know soon. But I just wanna show you guys kinda how I packed. I have most of my clothes in here, and then like any big toiletries right here, self-tanner, blue light glasses, and then there's some more toiletries in this little black pouch over here. In here is any like essentials, so in case my big bag is delayed, or God forbid, gets lost. I have one of like everything in there. So I have one workout set, one bikini, one pair of PJs, one pair of socks, and so on. Then over here we have my camera backpack. So we have film camera, battery for my camera, more camera batteries over here. Then this is my external hard drive. Then we have computer charger, GoPro equipment, phone charger, and then my laptop. And then I'm gonna put this bag of masks in there because that's gonna be like my carry-on bag. And then I'll just have a little purse. And I don't know what purse I'm gonna bring though because I can't really decide because I'm just like, who, like, do you wear purses in Hawaii? Like, I don't, you know how like those tropical places, it's just like they're so effortless. It's like they're not like dressing up their outfits with purses. I don't know. I've never really been anywhere like that. So you know what? Don't listen to me. I have not a clue. So today we're taking three flights in the span of I guess 24 hours, yeah. So we're going to Washington DC. Then we are flying from Washington DC to San Francisco. Then we are flying from San Francisco to Hawaii. But I'm just scared because I have a layover and I'm scared that like my bag will get left behind. I don't know. Irrational fears, I guess. But like, I feel like they're not irrational. I feel like they're very rational fears. But yeah, I should probably do a little bit less talking and more doing and get ready to leave. So let's get changed. I currently have myself tanner on because I am pale as a ghost, like Casper the Friendly Ghost. I just feel a lot more confident when I'm tan and I'm just going to leave it on for today and then wash it off when we get to the hotel in San Francisco, which is where I'm gonna sleep tonight and then we go to the airport at like 5 a.m. tomorrow. So exciting, wow. <sighs> okay, what purse should I bring? We could bring Curse de Audio. But I feel like that's just so overkill and just so not Hawaii. I don't think so. We could bring this Zach Posen bag. No, very much not Hawaii. I mean, this one's pretty resort from C by Chloe. It's just kind of an annoying bag because it kind of like goes everywhere. But if I wear it crossbody when I'm traveling, it should be fine. And then with my backpack. Yeah. Okay. I think we've decided on this purse. So gotta switch over my things from this purse to this purse. We have my wallet, my ID. Could you imagine if I forgot that? I would literally pass away. Hair tie, lip gloss. Then in the back, we have my vaccine card. So this bag is the important bag because it has my like essential essentials in it. Like can't go anywhere if we don't have these, you know? Cool, so we have those in there, awesome. I feel like that's fine, I feel like we're good in that respect. I'm gonna change and then I'll check in with you guys when we're like in the car. So we just stopped at Walmart because I accidentally ordered the wrong film for my film camera and I ordered $200 worth of film. So we had to stop at Walmart and get some Fuji film, 35 millimeter film. Honestly, the reviews were like pretty good online. I don't know. Like it was literally the only film that you could like get around here. Usually you have to get it delivered, ordered online, whatever. So this is what I got. And we're gonna hope for the best. I wanted to get the um like Kodak, might start with a P, Porta 400 35 millimeter film. But the one I ordered then first didn't wasn't in stock from the retailer that I got it at. Then I ordered it from Amazon and it was the wrong size. It wasn't 35 millimeter, it was 120. You live and you learn. Make sure it's 35 millimeter. But I got two boxes. So I think that's like 200 something pictures. I don't know. And then my order of my tripod for my GoPro also got canceled. So I had to order a little selfie stick tripod. I could probably use the one that I'm using for my camera right now, but I don't have the attachment for the GoPro for this because I think I didn't realize that that's what it was and I threw it out. 
and yeah. So now I'm gonna do all this and we are on our way to the airport. How far are we? Uh, 43 minutes away. Okay. 39 miles and I only have 39 miles of gas. I'm gonna have to grab with three dollars worth of gas. Well, that's fine. My plane boards at like 2.35. So let me explain this flight situation to you. I have to take two flights to get to San Francisco. I have to take one down to Washington and the one from Washington to San Francisco. It's actually like five hours and 55 minutes, so it's six hours. When I was booking it, I saw that I could upgrade to first class. <laughs> and I was like, I mean, honestly, I never take really long flights and I think I'm very bad at them. So to make myself comfortable and excited and have a good experience, I got first class. So yeah, yeah, I am flying first class and it's in one of the pods. It's in one of the little pods that you can sleep in. Like that you can, ah, I'm so excited. I have flown first class before because you can like upgrade sometimes for like 30 bucks, sometimes if you check in like first. But it's an upgrade for an hour long flight, so it's not really that different than coach, you know? Or different than economy or whatever, main cabin. So I'm really excited, so that'll be the second flight. The first flight is literally an hour, it's up and down. And then the second flight is long, and I am so excited for it, honestly. Because we get dinner. Oh. You guys will see, you'll see, I'm so excited. That's why I'm like really anxious because I really don't want my first flight to get delayed because if my first flight gets delayed, I miss the second flight. Oh. And that would break my heart because I'm so excited for the little pod. Oh, that would be awful. It would be awful, but fingers crossed, you will be okay. Are you about to go through this red light? No, <laughs> Okay, check in later, bye. I made it through security as of right now. My flight is on time. So that's good. I got an apple mimosa from Chicky Petit. Starting this trip off strong. I board in like an hour. Yummy. So would do we remember when I said my flight was on time? Um it got canceled. My first flight got canceled. So I booked a different one through American and it's at 6:30. It is three now. So I'm just gonna go to the American terminal go through security again and hope that this one does not get canceled. This one's a one way though. It's fine, it's just like annoying, but I'm getting my money back or I better, I will throw a fit if I don't get my money back from United, a fit. I didn't mean to offend you, it's just, it's, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna have a BF. Oh my God, she's gonna have a bitch fit. Oh. No. But I got like travel insurance, so. There's no way. There's literally no way. Yeah, I'm just gonna hang out in the airport for a little bit. I'll get a neck pillow. I think that's what I need. I think that would make my day better. I mean, I'm gonna check my bag again and then go through security again. Maybe I can get into one of the airport lounges. Just kidding. I don't have an American Express Platinum card. <laughs> next year. Oh wait, it is next year. This year, this year. Okay. I made it through security for the second time. I'm gonna go see if I can get into the like American Airlines lounge. I'll let you know. So I couldn't get in because it has to be an international flight, which is super annoying, but whatever. I'm not really sure what to do with myself now. I guess I'm just gonna go sit at my gate. So, okay, bye. Okay, so I made it to the airport hotel and I just washed off my self tanner and put lotion on and then I'm just gonna go to bed because I am so tired. When I got off the plane, I didn't feel that tired. Like the entire flight did not sleep. Drank three glasses of wine, did not sleep. Usually wine makes me so tired. Like I'm the kind of person that when I drink, I get really tired. Also, if you have any like solutions for that, like let me know down below because it really annoys me when I get tired and I wanna go home and my friends don't. So if you have any tips, let me know. But besides that point, let's stop talking about drinking. I couldn't fall asleep. I mean, it wasn't even, like I didn't try. I didn't try. I didn't even have a desire to. I had Wi-Fi, I was watching TikTok, and I was just like, I don't need to sleep right now, I'm not tired. 
and now I'm so tired. But let me give you a little hotel room tour. I don't know where Jackie is because I expected her to be here when I got here, uh, but she's not. So I don't know if we just like got two different hotel rooms for some reason or if she was already here. And then I already made a mess of the bathroom because I showered and yeah. This lighting is sickening. I would kill for this in like my bathroom one day. One day in New York, we're having this lighting. Just need to um, afford it first. No, I can do it. I can do it. It's fine. We're fine. This was a long day, but it was fine. Everything worked out. I mean, knock on wood, day's not over yet. But got where I needed to be, and that's what matters. Didn't get to go in a little first class sleeping pod. But that's okay. One day we can make that happen. Genuinely so thankful that I was able to buy another flight and that it was a one way non-stop and I didn't have to make any more stops or worry about my bag. It was just going straight there. Thank God and thank God I was able to get a seat and get a seat I wanted and was felt comfortable with. Like not that I wouldn't feel comfortable if I wasn't in a first class seat. Honestly, it's really not that different except for the fact that you get like dinner and complimentary alcohol the entire time. But yeah, other than that, it's not that different. Did I need to pay extra to do that? No, I didn't need to, but it was something that I was just like, you know what, <laughs> a stressful day enough. And I'm gonna get the huge amount of money that I spent on the first flight back, or at least I better. And that will very much cover this one way. And then I will find another way to get back from San Francisco in three weeks and it'll be fine and I'm not too worried about it and I think maybe when I come back from San Francisco in three weeks like probably won't do the first class again I mean it was like cool to have the experience and like do that once it's just something that's like if you can do it once do it and I was like I'm gonna do it I had a wonderful time on the plane but I could have had just as wonderful of a time in regular but yeah I'm going to go to sleep because I am knocked all right good night See you in the morning. Good morning, you guys. So I just woke up and Jackie texted me. Like I had an alarm set for 4.45. And she was like, hey, we're gonna leave at five. I was like, uh-oh. But we're actually gonna go on the 5.20 show. But I think Jackie's gonna come to my room and we're gonna hang out and then go. Oh my God, listen to this. Gabby got her flight canceled and got on another flight that was like, 12 hours later, so she was in the airport all day. Got here maybe like three hours ago, and they lost her bag. They lost her bag. Jail for baggage check. You're stealing, right to jail. You're playing music too loud, right to jail, right away. The airline gave her money for her clothes. I would be like, you better, what if that bag is worth? Give me it times three, okay? Oh, you're so cutely packed. <laughs> oh, my camera's on. Hello. <laughs> What's up? Sub vlog. Wow. I look so disgusting. <laughs> I don't even want to be filming right now because I look so good. I'll film. We are at the clubhouse. <laughs> With all the baseball players. They're Where here. are they? Where are they? They're all here. here. But yeah, here's the airport. Woohoo! Indoor outdoor, which is pretty cool. Welcome. Welcome. Aloha. 
as they say here, aloha. Aloha, Liddy. Aloha. <laughs> we are getting on this bus and we are going to the hotel. But it's like a resort, so this should be fun. Are you guys excited to the Aina Kauai game? Yeah. We are so excited! So there's this little like area of stores and restaurants right next to our hotel. And here is a surf shop. Jackie got a hat. Howdy. 70, how many dollars later? Um, 70. But I used my tip money from my work last week. There you go. Was it cash? Yeah. And then that's Venmo. free money. It's free money. Free money. Like We're at the beach. Go off, Jackie. Hey vlog, we haven't done much. I took a shower, then Gabby and I went to CVS with our professor because I needed to check if they had my prescription. They did not, but they'll have it either, they said tomorrow or the next day. Oh, that's good. I don't think I showed you guys our room, like mine and Jackie's room. So, let's do a kawaii room tour. Here's the bathroom. So cute, so nice. I wish there were like some shelves under here or something or like a cabinet because I'm like just, I just put my air wrap case down there. I'm just like, okay. But like, obviously it doesn't really matter. Shower. Make today amazing. I will. It says that, did you see that? Oh, I thought you were just like literally Oh my God. Like that. No. And here is our room. Yay! So we have two beds, which is super nice. And then our porch. I got a bubbly from CBS. Love you, bubbly. So I am finishing up my makeup and then I'm just gonna meet the girls at the bar. Jackie's already there because she was ready. Co-wicker than me, per usual. But that's okay. How are we looking? Oh. <laughs> this is really bad lighting in here. You know, last night I was like, oh my god, the lighting in the hotel is so good. Well, this one, not so much, but that's okay. Also put on this necklace. It is from Greta Louise, New York. She's the best, has the cutest stuff. I think I have a code. It might be like Audrey 10 or something. Which one do we want? The Sigma lip mask or the Tower 28 lip gloss? I love this lip mask. Okay, not my best work, but not my worst work. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then go to the bar. I'll show you when I'm there. Look at the tiki torches, it's so cool. Oh, this is not, that's not a straw. Okay. We are getting sushi right now and our waitress is so sweet. Everybody here is just so sweet. She's like, I mean, it's kind of laid back. Like, there's not really anything to be mad about. I was like, you're not wrong. Like, it's unreal. Absolutely unreal here. You're welcome. Chrissy, what roll did you get? The rainbow roll. Is that like a normal rainbow roll? Oh, a different one. It's so good. No more vegan. This is your breaking her veganism. Wait, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's breaking her veganism. Are you gonna become pescatarian in Hawaii? So we are headed back to the hotel and we are going to go to sleep. So thank you guys so much for watching our first Hawaii vlog. There's many more to come. So just make sure you're subscribed and hit the like button too. Cause that helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in my next video.